patients, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, I'm perfectly all fi fine with paying, you know, 20000 or the equivalent of $20,000 to anybody who is actually a slave. I don't think there's any slaves still alive. Not in America. There are in to, Africa. Right. Enslaved but, by other black people, you know, so it's not really a race issue. No, it's, it's a, a it's control a, right. issue. So now it would be, well, we would just, you know, the theory is we just pay reparations to everybody based on their skin color. And I'm like, and he was just from a black man's perspective was talking about how absolutely absurd it is. And not only that, but can we then, if we did, it would cost like $4 trillion to give every black person $100,000 or something, right? And he goes, okay, but then we stop, right? Then we stop. So we end all, all the welfare. Every, right, everything stops. And Dave was like, right, because none of that will ever change, and then we'll just have to pay for something else. Right. So the reality is, is like, you know. It, Look, for me, it boils down to mindset, right? So my, my, my family lineage comes from, you know, the Dutch who lived in South Africa. Mm -hmm. So the Dutch went, they were traders, they were pretty cool, you know. Right. There was an enslavement, all of that. And then, you know, the British came. The British, that's never a good sentence. So my great-grandmother was in a British concentration camp in 1903 where 25% of all Boer women and children died, okay? So I'm like, I don't know, is the crown of England going to pay me reparations? Right, I mean, where would it stop? Uh, I moved I'm... to America with $7,000 and a suitcase. Can I have some more? Uh, can I, you my... know, get a handout? Did someone help me get my where I My grandfather's from Ireland. I'm sure he Irish didn't have people, an you know? Irish need not apply. Can I get $25,000? I think, you know, I think if we're going to look at history, then... Uh, Jewish people. So We should give gotta, all the Jewish people money. You know, so you could either look at it that way, which is a oppressor-oppressed mindset, mm -hmm which only Leads works to more. in the favor <laughs> of, the of the oppressor who is trying to convince you you are a victim right. and you are oppressed and that somehow the oppressor who did it to you is going to solve this problem for you. So the question you have to ask yourself is who benefits from telling you you're a victim and that you can't manage your own life? The person trying life? to control you. Yes.